Good morning, everybody. Holy crap, I got a mystery package today. It came from Roman Atwood. I mean, <laughs> from, <laughs> it came from Amazon. I don't know who sent it, but uh, this is what it is right here. Zevia. So if you are the person who sent this to me, thank you so much. It was probably somebody from the first channel, but I hope you came over to this channel because you love me. Apparently you do if you sent me a very expensive box. A whole case of Zevia. Zero calories, no sugar, no artificial sweeteners. So here's the box. And uh, I'll show you what we got in here. We knew we could make something better, so we did. Refreshingly delicious, clean ingredients, and a bold commitment to continuous improvement. It's not just new, it's the new sweet. Never stop innovating, reimagining, and challenging the status quo. Zero calories, no sugar, artificial sweeteners. Okay, we got lime flavored, mandarin orange, I bet that's good, blackberry, Cucumber lemon. I'm not sure about that one, but I'll bet you these three are really good. The cucumber lemon, I don't know. I'm not a big cucumber person, but I will definitely taste it. If you sent this, let me know. I would like to thank you appropriately. But if you don't tell me, then thank you anyways for the awesome drinks. I hope I like them. There's a lot here. <laughs> I didn't like that bubbly stuff, but a lot of people gave me different ideas for what would taste good and what they like. And I do remember this being mentioned, but I have no clue who it was who uh, who brought it up. So thank you so much for sending these. All right, guys, so here's the deal. We got a Mandarin Orange Zevia here from the Fresh Pack, the mystery pack that showed up on my doorstep today. Nobody has fessed up to it yet, and that's okay. If you want to be anonymous, that's totally fine with me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's give it a taste. That's pretty tasty, actually. I like that. Mandarin orange. It, it kind of just tastes like a watered-down uh, orange crush. <sighs> pretty tasty. All right, guys, I gotta pay attention to the road here for a minute. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is pretty funny. I stopped at the gas station back there, and as I was pulling in, another guy pulled in in an SUV, and we were coming, like, like nose-to-nose -nose at these pumps. And he just looked at me. I mean, I could have easily just driven through and taken that other pump, but he just looked at me like I was some kind of an idiot, even though he was coming in off the road. And I was already in the parking lot pulling up to that that pump. But when I got out, you know, I was cool about it. And I said, you got enough room there? And he just kind of, <laughs> he just kind of, you know, ignored me, you know, looked away. And even though he was looking straight at me when I said it. So he knew, you know, that I was being cool with him and whatever. And I just thought, what do you want to throw down? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I mean, I didn't say that to him, but it was just funny to me because I'm like, you know, that's how I grew up. I grew up, like, defending myself, I guess. And in the area that I live right now, I'm kind of, like, always on edge. You know, I'm always looking over my shoulder and just, you know, paying attention to my surroundings and just kind of ready to, ready to fight at any time, even though I haven't been in a fight since probably high school. But it's just funny to me that that would be my reaction, you know. He just, he kind of poo-pooed me and turned his head like I was, like I was some kind of an idiot. And, uh, then my reaction was to think, what do you want to throw down? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. There's only a few things I'm throwing down for, and that's a taco, a pizza, a double cheeseburger. <laughs> Oh my god. I would love to have some good food right now, guys. I know this is supposed to be a morning show and I should be talking about breakfast. But today has just been so crazy busy. And I am just like euphoric now. I'm so exhausted. 
and I have I have stayed on my diet. I have not cheated, even though I'm talking about the tacos and pizza. But man, would I love to. I would love to have some of that stuff. You know, you just kind of get tired of the same old stuff when you're on this low-carb diet, and you have to start being really creative and changing up recipes that you know in order to keep it interesting and keep different tastes coming, you know? Which is funny because when I'm not on a diet, it, I never get sick of double cheeseburgers, and I never get sick of pizza, I never get sick of Taco Bell. Well, I don't know, maybe I do. You know, you kind of get tired of that stuff and you want something else, but you still go back to it, it's still good. So why can't I get like in that same mindset about the kind of foods that I can have now? I don't know. Anyways, I've been good. I'd love to have the good food, but I've been good. I have not cheated one bit. And what do we got, about another four days or something until the next weigh-in? I don't know. I know I'm just kind of babbling on right now, but, but like I said, it's just, it's been a crazy day. I'm tired, and I still have half the day to go and a lot of work to go. So, anyways, thanks for stopping in to hear my rant. <laughs> I'll get back to the parks and making my regular morning videos in the next couple days here. Sometimes life just kind of gets in the way, you know, I start to film these things in the morning and then something happens and throws me way off track. And it's just crazy, but, uh, you know, bear with me and hang out for this adventure. Hey, there's an RV. Looks like it's probably from the 80s and it's broken down. I don't want it. All right, guys, wherever you're waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward, and let's make this world a better place. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to pay attention to the road. Peace. Uh -huh.